I'm an artist from the Central Valley and i am always done art and I'm also a coffee addict so I always have a pen, a paintbrush, and a cup of coffee with me. Lately the past few years I've been doing a lot of black and white ink illustrations and so right now I'm trying to get back into some color in Hanford all throughout downtown and in the Civic Center Park there are small utility boxes that I've painted um, and then an indoor mural for the King's Gospel Mission in their office buildings. Everything else is just scattered about on Instagram, on the internet. These are some of the ink illustrations I've done. A lot of my inspiration has been like through fashion or fashion illustration. And so I kind of wanted to experiment a little bit with these. I didn't necessarily start to make it a triptych. I did one that was like, oh, let's see if I can do something slightly different. And then as I did more, they like three, it felt complete and they seem to go together even though I was doing them at very different times. So I've done a lot of like family portrait commissions lately. So people are wanting similar illustrations, um, but I tend to do the ink work on paper and then digitally color in Photoshop. When I start to stop thinking about like the whole piece and start thinking about like, let's add this one little line or this one little dot, that's usually when I say this isn't going to help the piece anymore. I need to, this is done. Like the ongoing like conversation in my head is like, I want to make something I want to make, but at the same time, you also need to think about, do other people need this? Do other people want this? And so I've always been kind of on the fence of, do I go business? Do I go like full creative? And someone told me before I went into college, like if you can learn that business side, that's great. You will always have your creative skills and you will always have your imagination, but the business part, it's gonna be a lot harder to just learn that on the streets and in your day to day. So I majored in business, minored in art, and so I still kind of got the classes and I got all of the practice and all of like the critiques that I needed. And then the business side, the technical part of it, and learn how to kind of apply that to my art and how to kind of sell it and market it. A lot of times, um, <laughs> the business side might win out a little bit more often right now, but maybe when I get older, I'll start to just quiet that side. <laughs> I do not have a website yet. Um, that's a work in progress, but I do have an Instagram. So it's at artistically.annie. So, yeah, so Instagram DMs are always probably the fastest way to get a hold of me. Or you can email me artisticallyannie at gmail.com. Just shout out to my family who have always been supportive of me because I, as much as I have this business background and can market myself, I always struggle to take that first step. And so they're my encouragers through all of this and they have always supported me creatively and I'm grateful to them.